how many people knows this this is a true story but not mentioned in the in the history book and we know history has been changed and rewritten by antichrist the jar pearl harbor was a honey trap for japan not only that world war 1 world war 2 happened with a great deception but he said world war 3 will be the mother of all deception why he said that what kind of deception will take place in the world war 3 take a look yes nuclear war will come soon the malhama is coming soon why because jerusalem is now sent to stage and madina or yathrib is now in full on desolation yes it's coming soon how soon that's a good question how soon you got to be able to connect the dots and read history when the first world war took place they would not have succeeded in the first world war unless the united states had entered into the war and in order to get the united states to enter into the war because the american people were not in favor of war and uh, henry ford did a great work henry ford to convince the american people not to enter the war but they had to use great deception to turn their population around it was a german submarine which sank a, a, a ship and a colossal loss and that was used but they sent the ship to be a sitting duck and that's how they got a chance to enter the first world war and be able to succeed when the second world war took place again they would not have succeeded unless the united states entered the war so what did they do in order to get the united states to enter the war roosevelt ordered the american fleet to be assembled at pearl harbor to be parked there the admirals of the us navy said to him are you crazy if we come to pearl harbor we will be sitting ducks for a japanese attack but that is what roosevelt wanted <laughs> so he overruled the admirals sent the us navy to pearl harbor in order that it could be attacked by the japanese and get causes bellum the opportunity to be able to justify entering into the second world war every time they wage war it has always been by deception but this one coming is going to be the mother of all deceptions they cannot trust trump no so so long as trump is president of the united states of america there will be no malhama they cannot trust him in order for them to have the great war they need someone else in the white house then the stage will be set then you need you have your man in the white house then you need some extra ordinary act of deception and i believe i know what is going to be but i'm afraid to speak about it now you tell me why he said that what kind of deception will take place in world war 3 this is the multi million dollar question isn't it and he also said world war 3 will be the mother of all deception the question is can we see the deception the answer is no normal people can't see that deception only those who have eyes to see they can see but thanks one god he gave me a flash in my brain immediately i recognized what is the deception the muslim nation and the muslim people will fight for the jal in world war 3 this is the mother of all deception the question is how it possible united nation is the headquarter of antichrist dajjal and nato the army of the jab do some homework who and why they created nato read the history of nato you will see nato is a alliance between the local army of the region and the west so the point is who is the member of the nato they will fight for antichrist the jal in world war 3 now you look today almost all the muslim nation are the member state of the nato in example turkey and those muslim nation are not in the camp of nato 
they also be dragged in the war. As you see, in the Ukraine crisis, all the Muslim nations are voting against Russia without knowing and without proper knowledge. Also look the news, how the Muslim nation and the Muslim people are voting against Ukraine and supporting Turkey and the others and others and others. I will give you only one clear deception. Rest of the thing you need to understand by yourself and do some homework and let see how the Jal bring all the Muslim nation and the Muslim people into the war. Turkey is now in center stage because of this particular reason. First of all, get the whole world of Islam support Turkey. This is the new leader of the Muslim world. That's why Turkey act like this over Adnan Khashoggi. I told you this is the plan of Antichrist Dajjal and this fellow needs support of the Muslim world in his future plan. That's why Antichrist Dajjal's frontman Taif Erdogan, he tried to become the new leader of the Sunni world. So people may believe this is the new hope for Islam other than Saudi Arabia because Turkey is the member state of NATO that's why and it is the master plan at work on the half of Antichrist Dajjal at this time let's go into this number one impact of Artagul Gaji in the Islamic world Artagul Gaji is a TV series and this TV series playing a crucial role in the end times why Artagul Gaji came now why not before? There is a specific reason why it came now. Turkey is the member state of NATO. That's why it is the master plan at work on the half of Antichrist Dajjal. Antichrist Dajjal brainwash people's mind through the Artagul Gaji TV series to know Turkey more and more about Turkey history and the power of Ottoman Empire and finally support Turkey so Turkey may become the leader of the Sunni world so people may believe this is the new hope for Islam other than Saudi Arabia. Antichrist Dajjal wants to hit Russia and join Turkey and finally join NATO and fight against Russia, meaning World War III. Number 2. Will Turkey join Muslim army in the end times? No. Turkey is never with the part of the Muslim army. That's why Turkey will never join the Muslim army in the end times. There is a hadith prophecy by Novi Muhammad Wasallam. He said, after the great war, the Muslim army conquer the Constantinople. That's mean Turkey will fight against Muslim army because without the fight Turkey will not give the Hagia Sophia into the hands of Muslim army and which army will return to the Orthodox Christian and they become friends and allies of Muslim which is prophesied by Navi Muhammad in the Quran there is a surah called Surah Rum it explained there they preparing for the war it will be beneficiary or helpful if they could use muslim people or muslim country which is the member state of nato as a trojan horse first of all get the whole world of islam support turkey this is the new leader of the muslim world that's why the turkey act like this over adnan khashoggi erdogan he tried to become the new leader of the sunni world so people may believe this is the new hope for Islam other than Saudi Arabia. When the war begins, you have lots of Muslims on the side of NATO like sheep and goats and like cattle. They will be fighting on the side of NATO. Antichrist Dajjal put Trojan horse on the Muslim heart to hate Orthodox Christian and Moscow is the leader of Orthodox Christian. So Antichrist Dajjal wants to hate Russia and join Turkey and finally join NATO and fight against Russia, meaning World War III. And we know Turkey is the member state of NATO. War can begin with Azerbaijan or Armenia or Iran or Lebanon. Those are the brush fire and we know wherever the brush fire starts it's lead to 
World War III and this happened with the First World War. They planned and they plan eventually lead World War I. Again they planning this time. Conclusion The Muslim nation is so deaf, dumb and blind. I, I really hate to speak about them. This is what I understand so far. Let me know your opinion on the comment section. And if you like this document, please do like and share to others.